Hey folks, Todd here. Welcome aboard the Todd train. We are headed towards Chimney Rock, North Carolina to see what kind of uh, colors we can get from these leaves. See if there's a bunch of different uh, yellows and oranges and reds. Hopefully we'll get some good colors today. Should be in a little bit. We're on 85 South right now. We will jump on 74, head towards Chimney Rock, North Carolina. All right, so let's go. Chimney Rock, slowly but surely. Got a little putt putt course over here to the left to get a lot of lakeside stuff going on, or brookside, riverside stuff going on. Just want to kind of show you here. Small, quaint town of Chimney Rock. Very cool. Love this place. Haven't been, like I said, I haven't been here in a while, but uh, there's so much to see and do. We'll walk around the town. And just a little bit there to find a good parking spot to do that. So, Chimney Rock State Park right there. I guess I'm going to go ahead and hit it, and hopefully they'll, they're open. Well, here we go across the bridge, across the river, and they race down this mountain, you guys. Yeah, they sure do. And um, we're going to be it's three miles up, so. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, switchbacks all through here. And there are, as you see there, private drives. There are private residents here too that live along the road. And um, so we got tickets and everything ahead a mile. So we'll, we'll get all that. But I want to kind of give you the drive up so you can experience what you'll go through driving up this road. And I'll add some music. You know, I don't want to bore you with me chit chatting with you. Uh, we got this bus in front of us, so hopefully it won't be too, too bad. But we have to go slow anyway. I think it's the max you can go is 15 miles an hour. Um, so here we go. ticket area to get in line to head on up so all right guys we'll wait here hopefully it won't take too long i've got my cash make sure you have that as you go up to chimney rock there's parking up top and there's also a cool elevator you literally go through sheer rock up into the mountain to get to the actual chimney rock and we are here 
at the top of Chimney Rock. See you behind me there. That might look familiar from some movies, um, especially Last Mohicans. So we're going to head into the actual rock itself, take the elevator up, and get these incredible views of the valley and the leaves. Kind of overcast, but uh, man, it feels great out here. And we got a good parking spot at the top here, and you can see Chimney Rock up there. Check it out. And uh, so we continue up this way. There's a gift store up here and the elevator that you take to go up. So, and we'll do some of the trails too, so you can get a idea of what you're seeing. Look at that incredible view. Amazing. Lake Lures down there. It's just beautiful up here. And we haven't even gone up yet. This is from the parking lot. And you can just sit here and just enjoy this incredible view. Let me pan around. Wow. Look at that. Amazing. And here is the tunnel leading to the elevator. Like I said, it is sheer rock that they tunneled through many, many years ago. And along here, you'll see placards that you can read showing you how they did this. Wow, it's pretty amazing. It's 26 story elevator that you go up. A little dark in here. I don't know if the camera's doing pretty good in the dark. And this is where we wait for that elevator. Here it is, folks. And we're just waiting on it to go up. So as soon as you get out of the elevator, there are restrooms, which is great. So, <laughs> so we've all been waiting for the restroom. This is the gift store here that you first hit when you first get out of the elevator. Another wonderful view out the window here. Look at that. There's like lure down there. We have the bottom. And of course, to the left of the bottom is Chimney Rock, the town of Chimney Rock. Man, it's worth the drive. Definitely is worth the drive. From Charlotte, it's a little over two hours, like two hours and 20 minutes. But to get out of town and see this, it is well worth it. See the movie poster from Last Mohicans. It's hard to believe it's been 30 years since that came out. Isn't that crazy? This is the gift shop here. You got your t-shirts, you got your coffee mugs, you got your cards, you got your badges. <laughs> so all kinds of t-shirts, hats. I'm sure they have the magnets, which I'll probably pick up a magnet of our visit here today. Got stickers for your car too, or for your camper, or for your motorhome. Yeah, got all kinds of cool gifts and memorabilia. If you need to pick up water or soda, they do have that up here. Now, I think the store downstairs does not open till 10, but this one is already open, of course. The elevator comes right out pretty much into the store. And right when you walk out, there's seating areas here if you want to eat outside. There's the rock. Good old chimney rock. And check out these rock faces here. It's beautiful. I love the trees growing on the side of the rock there. The roots going all the way down the rock. And we'll go up to the rock itself. Man, look like they put new stuff in. Yeah, this is all new here since I was last year, of course. And there's the town way down below. We'll be down there in a little bit so you can uh, take a look at uh, the actual town of Chimney Rock and we're going up the steps to get on top of the chimney look over here check that out beautiful views we're making our way up and you can see the other part over here look at that yeah we're going up going up going up not too many steps We'll head higher though for sure. But this is the Jimmy Rock. There's a relaxing up here too on the rock itself. 
we'll go up, go up there too get some awesome views wow if you've never been I do encourage you to come to the rock there's the town of Chimney Rock way down there beautiful through the valley here and again we'll drive through the town itself so you can see it but right now we're just admiring the awe of nature and the incredible views <laughs> and where we're at right now we're at an elevation of 2,280 feet and of course we look here I do have some cool still shots of being on top of the actual chimney rock as I pan around here everybody's sitting on top of the rock now we're gonna head a little bit higher on the trails so let's go on down the stairs and head back up again we parked way down there at the bottom pretty cool and and we are heading up the staircase here I believe it's like 150 steps so it's not too bad but you do you go pretty much straight up so you got these long steps give you a little time to catch your breath <laughs> as you go up so we're heading towards the opera box okay this little narrow walk way here and here's the opera box it is a low ceiling so you do have to crouch over just a little bit as you enter but look at this spectacular view from here it's amazing and there's where we were just a minute ago <laughs> want to get this cool shot on top of the uh, tower here overlooking there you go down there behind me and there's the valley just wanted you guys to see it it's beautiful over here check all that out it's awesome so we're heading a little bit further up the trail I'm gonna go to Devil's Head and explanation point but yeah it's amazing up here and this is Devil's Head here overlook Pretty cool. Look at the sheer cliff right there. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. You get on the top of the sheer rock face and you come up here and you see all this. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty amazing. We'll walk over here real quick. Get an amazing overview right over here. So we're at the very top now and there's a trail that leads around that we're well, actually this trail <laughs> leads around to where we're gonna go to the waterfall and get some awesome views there and that's and last weekend that's pretty much I believe close to where one of the characters jumped off the cliff so but you may recognize it when we get there this is just a nice walk through nature um, we'll be hitting the waterfalls pretty soon but I just wanted to show you this and we'll look over to my right here you get some awesome views just like that and there's a house way off in the distance on the very top of the, the uh, rock face over there imagine their view when they wake up in the morning wow it's just beautiful up here looks like some rain is north of here so hopefully it looks like it's moving that way so I don't think we're gonna get hit by that
So we're going to walk to Hickory Nut Falls at the bottom of the uh, actual Chimney Rock Mountains. And uh, it's supposed to be a spectacular view. So let's go check it out. So here's a map of the walk. You can see where we are right here. And we are heading over here. So it's a pretty good walk. It doesn't really show you how far it is. Um, but we'll give it a try. Just a tad of an incline here cool rocks formation here along the uh, side of the trail see a lot of that up here in this area and we have made it to the falls I want to kind of show you this gradual shot of the waterfalls not pretty cool beautiful we'll head up closer you see the clouds up there moving past the top slowly pan down this amazing waterfall here's the bottom here where we're at you need to come see this in person and that wind is picking up too even these two guys made it all the way to the waterfall had some awesome pictures taken of themselves or their dad <laughs> hopefully you can hear me we're here in front of the waterfalls here at chimney rock these are amazing wow incredible And this is where it continues down the mountainside. It's just a beautiful, beautiful view, as you can see. Been here millions of years doing this, carving its way through the rock. I'm spin around here. Now, like I said, hopefully you can hear me. It is windy. That was well worth the, the walk, really. Make sure you take that walk from the parking lot down to the falls. It's, it's well worth it, it's amazing. <laughs> so after walking all the trails, I just saw this posted. But <laughs> luckily, we haven't run into any, uh, any of the bears, so that's good. Okay, so we are heading back to the car and uh, we're gonna head back down to the town of Chimney Rock and see we can get some food so here we are at the bottom if you look up there you see the waterfall over here and there's chimney over there so yeah we're in the town now and we're going to try to find something to eat and parking is crazy right now we had to park on top of this hill um, to get a spot i mean they're filled up that's the only drawback of having these uh parking spaces <laughs> at a very touristy area so yeah, um, we're gonna go down here and try to find something to eat. This one here is the Burnt Shirt Vineyards. It looks pretty popular. Got a lot of people eating outside. Of course, I'd be eating outside too. It's a nice, nice day. Great views of the mountains. Check that out. Here's a shot of the outside seating area. And here's the Hickory Nut uh, Gorge Brewery. And I think they actually serve some of their beer down at Disney uh, in Florida. The Hickory Nut Gorge Brewery. And here's part of Main Street. We'll head down this way. Again, it's very touristy through here, of course. And uh, just a great place to get away. Along Main Street here, they do have little carnival rides for the kids, carousel. Kind of your uh, stationary rides. A little train ride over there too. So we'll head down this way. There's a lot of shops and there's little restaurants. Jenny's Family Restaurant, home style cooking. I'm gonna find something because I am starved right now. I'm gonna check out their menu. Wow, they do have a local rainbow trout and other items here. There's your menu if you want to pause it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but uh, this is Jenny's 
family restaurant. So we decided to eat at Jenny's family restaurant here. And we've got an outside seat on the back porch, our back deck, overlooking the river. Let me show you over here. Hey, I'm ready. I'm here. <laughs> and I got the club sandwich, and I already have taken a bite out of it. But um, I did order potato salad, but they also brought me fruit salad too. So, oh well, more the merrier. That was a good lunch. I had the club, as you saw, it was really good. And I haven't been here since they had a huge flood here a long time ago. And some of these places did wash out. So his deck was uh, new, he was telling me, the owner was. And uh, yeah, so let's go on down and see what downtown looks like. This is the Village Scoops, where you get your ice cream along here and eat outside and enjoy a beverage and your ice cream. So head down this way. Oh, coffee. Yep, and you can also pose as Bigfoot. I gotta show you that over there across the street. <laughs> and you got this cool Bigfoot cutout here, wooden cutout. She's, he's holding her up in a ballet dance, it looks like. Then over here, you've got your Sasquatch family photo op here that you can stick your head in and uh, just be a perfect Sasquatch family. So right here they have the uh, coffee on the rocks, espresso, cappuccino, latte and smoothies and right next door to it after you drink coffee filling up to it and you get that caffeine going in your system you can do old time photos and dress up old western or old timey photos there right next door we got the old rock cafe riverside dining and souvenirs so they must have a little shop in there too i just want to give you like a quick uh walkthrough and this is where we entered earlier to the actual chimney rock right here state park been here for many 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 years and used to have to uh, I believe you had tickets here years ago but now you go up into the park and they have their little beetle juice out front here greeting you as you enter chimney rock check out pumpkin head beetle juice walk across the street but over here you get all kinds of cool little shops I'm not sure if they'll let you film inside some won't but just want to kind of give you an idea of all the different uh, choices you have for the different stores that you can go into as you pass some of the shops there's a little area you can uh, a little nook there you walk into and you can go down to the river so let's go down here and check out the river they do have trout fishing on the broad river here uh season opens at 7 a.m on the first saturday in april and there's no fishing allowed for march 1st the first saturday in april so um, but here they are. Here's your trout. You got your brook trout. You got your brown trout and your rainbow trout So let me get this little Hashtag down here if you want to scan that if you're ever interested in coming down and do some trout fishing And it's all beautiful through here and that's the bridge what we crossed to go to chimney rock the actual state park is right there and uh, Back in 96 there was a flood that washed out a lot of the buildings along the river. And yeah, they had to rebuild all those buildings. So I'm not sure how they're controlling that now, but this is just beautiful through here. I guess it's one of the risks you gotta take when living close to such a beautiful uh, area. I could just come out here and just chill out, coffee, whatever beverage <laughs> is available, and just sit on these rocks over here and just relax with the with the river going by and uh got some cool areas here you sit eat drink and enjoy the river as it goes by but yeah it is just beautiful through here definitely don't walk down here when it's wet uh that would be bad you will slip and bust your butt uh so there's another bridge over here we can go back across just want to kind of show you this here see what i mean and it's dry. I almost bust my butt right there. <laughs> yeah, the man the wind's picking up. The uh, cold front's coming in. Like I said earlier in the video, they said temperature tonight will drop 40 degrees. So, crazy. So we're going to slowly make our way across here. Check out those trees that were uh, shoved down here from the bad uh, floods years ago. They're still sitting there. And we'll cross over here. Another little stone bridge 
that's pretty cool go back to Main Street and it's nice Wow yeah I could just sit down here for sure and just chill out so this little pathway runs parallel to Main Street it's really nice I actually like to walk here better than on Main Street to be honest with you this is a nice and over here you got River Watch waterfront bar and grill restaurant right there they're up there eating that's real nice Wow, look at this over here. Beautiful. If you're in Chimney Rock, I highly recommend you <laughs> take this walk. It's just really ra relaxing and uh, just a beautiful walk. Just the sound of the water. It's really nice. Okay. Guess we have to go back to Main Street. That sign says, thank you for not disturbing the snakes on this hill. So, must be a little habitat for them along the hill here. Not, I really don't want to know which uh, types of snakes are there, but uh, yeah, we won't disturb them. And the small town Chimney Rock actually has a Harley Davidson store. That's pretty cool. Some of the Harleys out front. And you got a, looks like a little fudge shop here. And it has a lot of different uh, collectibles, things you bring home. And we'll head back down this way. Got the heavily hog cycles down here. So we've got Harley Davidson, a bunch of bikes. This is actually a great place to ride your bike, as you saw with all the switchbacks uh, coming up here. This would definitely be the place you'd want to ride your bike for sure. Look at all these beautiful bikes here. Really nice. These are awesome. Motor Heavenly Hogs. All kinds of cool motorcycle memorabilia inside. All right, we will continue down this way. And this is the Broad River Inn. There is lodging here. So that's pretty cool. A little bed and breakfast. It's got a restaurant and bar inside too. Stagecoach Saloon. Oh, look at this over here. You get your outside eating over here on the deck. Nice. And there is our Chimney Rock Adventure Golf. We'll walk over here. So if you're in the mood with the kids, play some putt-putt, play some mini golf. There you go. Look at that windmill. Please flying. It is windy. So yeah. Here's your mini golf. So it says reserved for guests, so I'm wondering if that they own, if Broad River Inn owns this uh, putt-putt. That yep, mini golf here, Broad River Inn and coffee shop, Chimney Rock Mini Golf. So, check out the house over there too, that would be kind of cool. Have a little uh, cabin along the river, kind of your getaway from everything, come to the mountains. Yeah, that'd be nice. And here is the Riverside Lodge at Chimney Rock rooms on the river so that's another place you could check out i'm sure you have to reserve one of these rooms way in advance too uh, i'm sure these go pretty quick uh so yeah here they are here it doesn't look like they have a lot of rooms um yep nice i want to get you <laughs> just want to get you this angle of all the traffic going into jimmy rock it's like a mini <laughs> gatlinburg sort of and this is Carter Lodge on the river with balconies overlooking the river. This is really nice. Again, you're probably going to have to uh, check out their dates of availability too on a room because I can guarantee you they go really quick. I also want to get you this gorgeous view of Jimmy Rock and the mountainside here surrounding the town. Isn't that beautiful? Check out the clouds, they're moving pretty good. And you get the town post office here. Zip code 28720. We're on the other side of the road now. Kind of seeing what's over here. And this is called the Sacred Chakra. Not sure if you can film inside, but we're going to go inside. I do want to check it out and see what they have. 
So the Sacred Chakra is a cool store. They have all kinds of cool gems. Uh, they have a cool uh, fossilized, geosized, stuff like that. Incense, uh, tarot cards, all kinds of cool stuff. Um, but like I said, a lot of these stores will not let you film inside. Don't know why, that's fine. Uh, no beef with that. So <laughs> they own the store, but yeah, guys, they have some really cool stores here, so definitely check them out. And along this strip here, we're going back to the car now, <laughs> but along this strip, there's all kinds of different stores. Cop little coffee shops, things like that, little candy stores all along here. Try to get a different view here with all the stonework. That's really nice there. So I'm gonna go inside and see if I find anything and maybe something I can bring home. We'll see. Creek is a really cool store. I, I didn't want to bother them, plus they were so, so busy, but they have cool, awesome gifts in there. Uh, season gifts, a lot of different desserts and treats really cool store be sure to check that out willow creek and this one looks like a restaurant here laura's house southern style family dining and here but i'm not sure if they're open anymore doesn't look like it, it looks vacant inside yep looks like laura went out of business that's too bad i'm sure covid has something to do with it there's laura's house bakery there too they're gone that's too bad but along this little strip here, they have all kinds of cool little shops along here. It's like Native American stuff here. Because you are in Cherokee territory for sure. And the name of this store is Chimney Sweeps. Apparel, moccasins, gifts, and souvenirs. Established in 1975. So it's been here a long time. I'm going to go inside and see what I find. And of course, more shops. So if you've been to Gatlinburg. You'll see a lot of the same shops here at Chimney Rock. And this is Mountain Traders and check out that Bigfoot. That is very cool. <laughs> Might have to go inside and see if they've got a t-shirt. Actually the one he's wearing. <laughs> that is so awesome. And this restaurant here looks pretty busy. It's called Medina's Village Bistro. That's real nice. And where I parked from out front, it says this is pretty much five dollars all day that you can park. So it's not crazy expensive to park here. Uh, yeah, I mean a lot of the places where the lots were filled up, so I parked way in the back. So I did end up getting that Bigfoot Chimney Rock T-shirt. I think it's awesome. I'll show you that at the end here. And uh, I wanted to thank you for hanging out with me at Chimney Rock. It was a great day, beautiful day. Got some great still shots. Stay for that too at the end of the video get some cool little montage of uh photos that were taken while i was here so again like subscribe and i appreciate you hanging out let's jump on that todd venture train i appreciate it guys you take care we'll see you soon bye bye